Welcome back to my channel, Winter Motors. It's too bright and I need sunglasses. Oh, that's better. Welcome back to my channel, Winter Motors. My name is Sean Winter, your friendly neighborhood outlaw. And today, I'm going to try and do something that I might not succeed at, knowing my track records of doing things, it's quite probably that I won't succeed at it. What I want to do this episode is to replace these bars with these. These handlebars are from uh, Triumph Bobber. Let's see. I don't know if I can do this, but since I have this kind of throttle setup, I think it will be okay. If I would have an electronic throttle like my Harley has, where it's basically twisted with a little knob in here and all the wires are inside the bars, then I think it would be harder. But everything should just be on the outside. So I should just need to remove this, remove that, and just slide it on to this. But that's the theory. Now, actually doing it is a completely different story. But that's why I'm taking you along, because it's really funny if I fail. It's also cool if I don't fail, but let's see. <laughs> Got the bar stripped down. All I need to do is to get this grip off because I don't have any replacement grips. But I think I can do that or else I'll figure something else out. It is a rat bike. It pained me a little bit that I had to cut these, but I can just splice them and I also have more wire if necessary. But if you have bar end indicators, they are most likely wired internally in the bar. So. Yeah, I didn't want to go through the entire harness and figure out where this originally came from, plug that out and drag everything through, so I just took a scissor and cut it, and now I have to put it back together, and that was very monotone, and let's continue with trying to take this grip off. So first of all, I'm just going to try and heat up the grip with the heat gun, and maybe I can loosen whatever kind of glue is underneath here. So I didn't put this on, so I don't know what's underneath, and maybe just pull it off. If not, I'm going to have to try and put something in under there, and like slowly circulate or like rotate that so I can get it off but uh, you know I might fail I'm gonna place these bars onto it now now the only thing is that um, technically it has to be internally wired but it's very complicated shape to drag wires through and you can do that with like putting a thread through there and pulling the wire and all that good stuff the the things that the pros do but a i'm no pro b this is a rat bike c i don't have time <laughs> because i have to go to work today and uh, i'm just doing this before work which is a little stupid but why the fuck not gotten this far now it's quite quite a good progress so far but it's time for a beer break hell yeah and remember if you want to support me and this channel you can buy me a beer with the link in the description down below <laughs> Okay, I've been fiddling around with my indicators forever and I just don't have time to continue with it. The left side doesn't work on the front, it works on the back, the right side works on the front. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to come back and look more into that, maybe tomorrow, but today I'm just gonna have to do ye old hand signals, because yeah, I don't have time right now. Alright, I actually wanted to go on like a proper run now and give you like a proper feel or proper opinion on 
on the new bars but I, I realized that I had to work I thought I was off today but I wasn't so my quick thoughts just by going down to work we'll have to do for now but like I said I need to do a little bit more adjustments on it to get the um, indicator the left indicator to work because it doesn't work right now I can say already that I, I do really like them they feel really good they're, they're way narrower than my drag bars I mean my drag bars was out here and low these are tight and up high and it feels way more aggressive I feel like I can take corners more aggressively even though like when uh, it's, a, it's completely different though try this corner counter steer yeah I mean they feel good they feel more aggressive but it's a different feeling than my drags because counter steering with the drags was just like a little push and the bike did a lot now a little push still does it but not as much as the drags that's because they're wider obviously but uh, I mean I still it's not like the bike it's undrivable it's just a different ergonomic but it feels more aggressive it feels more rat bike like I like it I need to do something about them though because they're too clean looking now another thing that I really like about these bars is that they give me the, uh, the ability to actually use my mirrors without just seeing my forearms and uh, that's pretty good and also filtering traffic like I'm doing now feels a little easier because I don't need to worry about the bike being so wide and here's a little pro tip from me although I'm no pro don't do like me and just jump on the bike and go out in the, on the road in rush hour with bars you just installed test them out test the fit see if the throttle works see if all the levers and cables work before you take it out into traffic I didn't do that because I didn't have time I wanted to but uh, me fiddling around with the indicator so long meant that my battery was basically flat so the bike wouldn't start <laughs> so I just had to jump the bike and uh, and just go into traffic with brand new bars that I didn't even know would, would do what they're supposed to not recommended but if you came to this channel to see someone be sensible then you came to the wrong channel so here we are at the bar finally open again I texted with Tommy and he was like I said to him like hey, you're working today and he was like no you're working today I'm like fuck I don't have handlebars on the bike <laughs> I, I had no handlebars I couldn't drive I was like fuck's sake what I do now because <laughs> I thought I was off <laughs> so I was just like oh. yeah, but <laughs> It's your duty day. It's your day. No, 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 no. It's your day today. All right. Next day, I'm gonna try and fix the that indicator, the left one. It was working yesterday. I just. Uh, but this time, I have a little bit more time. I don't have to be anywhere, so I can take my time with it and hopefully get it done. But I'm just gonna time lapse the entire process because I have no idea what I'm doing, and I have no idea how long it's gonna take. So, cut the time lapse. Nope, I can't get it. You know what I did? I just ordered the exact same barn indicators that are on here. Again, because I wasn't able to fix the left one, and uh, oh no, I just thought, you know what, I'll just get new ones. And to my surprise, they're actually quite cheap, so... Now, I'm kind of stuck here at the garage, because outside... It is pissing down. And since that's the case, I think I'm gonna do something with the handlebars, because they look too nice, too clean right now. It needs to match a little bit. With the bike. I also have a question for you guys. What do you think about the decapitator now that the bars are like this? Should I take it off to expose the bars a little more? Or should I leave it on? I'm, I'm really not sure. But let's start with roughening up these bars a little bit.
and then we see. And of course the way I'm going to do that is with the old sandpaper, 180 grit. I wish I had a little bit rougher grit, but this is all I have. Well, it looks like 180 does the job really good, actually. That's what she looks like without the decapitator. I'm not sure if I like that just because that's different now and that I'm not used to it anymore or because it is cool. I really like it like this. I really like the head splitter decapitator as well. Maybe I'll run it like this for a while just to get the feel for it. Hmm. Leave me a comment down below telling me what you think. Okay, so here's what I did. I blacked out that thing. Finally! And I scratched up the bars. Just scratched the, the paint off it and uh, also put a little bit of rust color into the metal. I also dulled down the chrome on the mirrors, both sides. I still desperately need to do something about the back end of this bike, but uh, there's some logistics I need to figure out first. So I got the bars on there. Now it's not 100% done because of the indicator, but the bars are doing the job that they are supposed to do. And yeah, it's working fully. And I wanted to install the bars. The complication of the indicator is just something that followed. And it's just so fucking it up. But anyway, thanks for watching another video here at Winter Motors. My name is Sean Winter, your friendly neighborhood outlaw. And until next time, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and all that good stuff. Bye-bye.